Hey guys, Silent CL here. Welcome back to another Time Across Gacha video. Uh, it's also a video updating a bit on the Mirage Wedding Challenge that has been going on since the uh, early portions of June because June Brides is a thing. So, alright, let's talk about um, the brand new missions first before we dive into the gacha. And there it is, the loading screen to remind you there are three different color variations of event gacha tickets which you can actually get from the current sunset wedding event that is currently going on today. So let's dive into Mirage's wedding challenge first. As usual, you know, whenever there's a brand new wedding dress being introduced into the game, well today we are getting Min Mei's wedding dress, then of course I think a few days later we are getting Makina's, um, which is the final wedding dress for June. So I'm not too sure if um, Makina's Gacha will be getting the third color variation of the event Gacha tickets because well, technically there are three of them. Today we are being introduced the red ticket for Minmei's Gacha and technically Makina's costume is the last Gacha for the month so technically it should you know introduce the last color which is blue if I'm not wrong. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so with that said, it seems like the last video that I did um, talking about um, the event gacha tickets is technically correct. Um, the tickets are only usable for the particular gacha that features the ticket image on it. So, and each month there's gonna be three different event gacha tickets, and it only can be used in that month itself, it cannot be brought forward. So sadly to say, you have to use it straight there and then. So yes, uh, hopefully you guys have been working hard on the current event trying to get those 10 event gacha tickets for the gacha that is featuring Min Mei's brand new episode plate. Alright, so here we have the missions uh, currently that is going on for Mirage's wedding challenge. And I'm sure it's very down to earth and very straightforward. Uh, for most of the friends who have been playing since the first introduction of Mirage's Wedding Challenge. Um, the challengers have mainly been asking you to dress up the divas that have featured wedding dresses for this month. Um, so we have Milen, we have Ranka, and now we have Min Mei. So yes, this time round you need to have Min Mei as your center diva. And of course she needs to be wearing her eternal uh, or rather eternal. I don't know how you pronounce it in English. I mean, that's British English, that's American English. But eternal, eternal, depends on how you pronounce it in your own country. And bride. So yes, the eternal, eternal bride costume that belongs to Min Mei, which is her new wedding dress um, that is featured in the current event episode plates and the featured uh, gacha episode place. So yes, you can actually unlock Min Mei's wedding dress easily. Makinas is the one that you need to worry about because it's gonna be locked behind that gacha wall. So Min Mei fans, um, yeah, you don't really have to spend your singing stones too crazily on her gacha, I guess, unless her episode plates turn up awesome, then I don't know. <laughs> so. For those of you who are not Min Mei fans, luckily enough you can save your singing stones for your future waifu husband those gacha. Um, unless, unless Min Mei's episode plate ends up being awesome, then, then I guess our wallets have to cry further. So okay, as mentioned, so yes Min Mei needs to wear her wedding dress, she needs to be the center diva of your team. And of course, you have to play the song Sunset Beach Mirror Version, which is the current event's main featured song. So you shouldn't have a problem trying to clear this, um, except for maybe trying to unlock the wedding dress itself. So, <laughs> so hopefully you guys have enough episode ops to unlock the wedding dress if you don't have enough costume points from pulling all the gachas. With the event gacha tickets, that 10 episode plates, hopefully you get at least one or two episode plates um, that has the costume points, then unlock the costume via episode ops. Or if you're lucky enough, 
maybe you might get Min Mei's brand new featured episode played. So let's take a look at Min Mei's brand new featured play and see how it fares, you know, overall. So as you can see on the banner, you know, the image of the event gacha ticket is there. So that's kind of nice to know that they are reminding us, you know, you can use those event gacha tickets um, for this current banner. And you know, you don't really have to toss your singing stones into it. So it's kind of a worrying thing if you think about it. Why is Dana making it so easy for players to pull event gachas? Um, you know, maybe in the future they are planning something that might need to leech our singing stones even more. Oh boy, that's kind of worrying. <laughs> okay. So let's take a look at Min Mei's episode play first before we worry further for the future. So 3869 total score, pretty decent amount. Um, almost hitting the top amount for 6 star episode plays in the current generation. Of course, pay attention to the 3 other divas who can use her episode play, especially when you have next month coming around, which is the diva improvement events. We don't know who. Um, or which series is being featured, you know, to really focus on improving those divas in that particular series, or maybe even Basara. No, I think Basara was last month's right. Okay, so moving along, uh, as you can tell, it focused a lot on charm, uh, and of course, somewhat of a decent amount of voice and soul is being left out. So with that said, I'm sure you know that the featured song really really requires the charm factor to give you those good high scores. So set up your episode plates based on this knowledge and you should do fine. Center skill, charm up. So units charm is boosted by 90% up. Wow! Okay, that makes this episode plate viable as the center position ep episode plate if you did not get Freya's 7 star episode plate um, to be used. I mean, you could technically get uh, or rather use, use um, Freya's 7 star episode plate as a side, uh, you know, um, episode plate equipment. You don't have it to have the center. So, technically, yeah. Okay, moving along. Active skill. 5 seconds, your score is boosted by 70% up. Not too bad for, you know, um, current modern 6 star episode play standards. Life skill, mode score up. Hmm, so it's another one of these episode plays. So, yeah, du um, during the beginning of Cho Utahime mode, so as usual, um, if you tap a uh, good, miss, bad, I don't know. Uh, perfect and excellent. Your taps will technically give you a 110% um, boost in score. So that's fantastic, especially since this is the high score achievement um, event. So let's take a look at the last page. Will this be the first episode played of this life skill genre or, you know, kind to get the special note attachment? And oh my god, it is! <laughs> and it comes with a score note! It's perfectly set up for this event. God dang it. <laughs> and here and here I was about to say that it's not. I mean I, I mean oh god. Okay. Guys, this changes things. It's the first of its kind. The first life skill of its kind um, that has a special note attachment to it and it belongs to the OG diva. Oh gosh dang it. So what do I have to say? This is now a must attain episode plate for non Min Mei fans and Min Mei fans alike. So Min Mei fans, your waifu has become the first of its kind to get an episode plate with such a life skill and an awesome note attachment to it. And it has a pretty good total score as well. Gosh dang it. Right? You know, I mean, even Min Mei's costume is unlockable through the event episode plates from in the event itself. This makes this gacha even more neat to pull. 
Uh, I'm glad Dana introduced the event gacha tickets because I'm really hoping to at least get a s single copy of this episode play. Uh, at least it's 5 star form. So I'm gonna go out onto the main page, I'm gonna collect my 10 event gacha tickets. Yes, it's only a. I've been like, what, 3 hours or 2 hours from the time that I'm recording this video since the event started, and I've already gotten my 10 event gacha tickets that's how crazy i went just to do this video uh yeah i spent uh energy actors and skip tickets just to get my event gacha tickets for this gacha videos that's that's how crazy i want it to be done okay so now that we've claimed it let's do this oh god do i want to spend extra singing stones just to get mid mace episode play I mean, I really want to get Makina's costume, you know, because it's gonna be locked behind the gacha wall. Oh boy. Alright, let's do this the usual way. The single free pool. Let's test the waters first. Let's see how it is. I apologize for all the planes flying by. I, you know, the neighborhood is just that noisy. Okay, we do get a single Valkyrie in the animations. But that doesn't mean, really mean anything. Okay, so how rare is this? Oh, pretty rare, since I don't have that many duplicates. So that's looking good, hopefully. So the month of June is actually good for my account, considering what I've gotten for the month of June. Alright, so let's test the water again with the free daily pools. This is the afternoon session. Oh, we do get a bit of load there. Okay, no Valkyries this time round. I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this. Okay, it's still pretty rare. At least it didn't go into the double digits. Alright, let's maybe test a bit more. I do have a lot of Super Dimension tickets right here. so And we still have those 6 tickets that's expiring at the end of the month. So let's do 10 tickets right here. I mean, if we get a 6 star episode played out of this, that's fantastic as well. But, you know. Uh oh. That's pretty slow of a load. <laughs> oh god. Please let me still have luck for Min Mei's gacha. I mean, Min Mei's episode play is pretty awesome, so. Okay, 3 Valkyries. Alright, no red boxes on the first bling. Lots of red boxes on the second bling. That's not good. Please don't let them evolve. I mean, it would be good if they evolve, but still, oh god, Ranka's giving me the two thumbs up. Oh god. Oh! Oh, nice to get a pretty rare Mad Cross 7 episode play. That's pretty fantastic. At least it's not a 5 star. There we go, second red box. No evolution as well. Another pretty rare old Mad Cross Frontier plate. A third red box, no evolution. Okay. Not seen this before. Hmm. Oh, we did get a bit of lag, so there we go. Ray Ray is gonna evolve this. Oh! Rakka's crossover life costume. Nice. Okay. Yep, yeah, so the Elto plate is new. Wow, I even got this one evolved. Okay. Alright, so pretty decent pool overall. I think this Ranka's plate was pretty useful. Yep, got it fully evolved. Um, yeah, it's pretty decent. Okay, so moving along. Let's do this, the main thing itself. Okay, hoping to really get a single copy, at least a single copy. Of Min Mei's brand new plate, so let's do this. We're gonna go with the tickets first because it's free. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Hopefully, we get something nice. Okay, okay, three Valkyries. It's pretty really mediocre. Single red box on the first bling. Uh oh. 
That's not good. Oh! Okay. The basic requirements have been met. Well, technically, the event episode plays. Um, I've already met the basic requirements, but you know, more costume points is always a good thing. Let's save on those episode offs. Oh, wow. Okay, so nothing fantastic with the rare stuff. At least we get three episode plates with costume points, so that's pretty good. Alright, so I guess we're gonna have to pay for our stuff now. So we're gonna go with the discounted template pool. I don't know if I will go for a second round. Like I said, I would definitely like to save things up for Makima, but technically, I do have enough singing stones to do a second 500 stone pool for Minmei and still do two pools for Maki Maki. So, I don't know. Let's let's see how things go. But I mean, it's always good to save more for the one that is rarer to obtain. Here we go. Two tree. Okay, sticking with the tree Valkyrie animation still. Uh oh. Okay, two red boxes. Hmm. More episode plate for points. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty rare Arat plate, so not too sad about it. Alright, so we didn't get Min Min's plate at all. That's kind of a bummer. Alright, so after considerations, I'm gonna go with the non-discounted pool. I'm really gambling right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that you know my predictions are not wrong. The third colored event gacha ticket is gonna appear for our Makina's gacha. So I'm just hoping that is the case so that at least we get full three template pools for Maki Maki as well. So let's do this. 500 stone pool. Let's do this. Hopefully we get what we want. Uh, okay, we did get some slow loads there. So hopefully that's somewhat of a good sign. Yep, yeah, 5 Valkyries now. Oh boy, 3 red boxes. Yep, there it is. The rainbow box, but... Is it what we want? That's the issue. Oh, skipped it. Wow, all the red boxes are appearing in the front. That's not a good sign. Okay. What the Wow, love. Wow, that's a lot of across. Delta stuff. Okay. So they're really keeping the rainbow box for last. Here it is! Uh, oh! It is not Min Min's new play. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, and the title of the episode play really is trolling me. Uh. Oh, cool! That's not too bad. Still kind of bummed out. Alright, so we did get a new plate with Kumo Kumo's face on it, Ranka's plate evolved. Is this episode plate actually good? Oh, it's not that good. Yeah, it's a very old episode plate, so... Oh, that's kind of bittersweet, yes. <laughs> anyway guys, that's it for today. Uh, pretty bittersweet gacha video, but still, it's nice to conclude uh, the turnout of the uh, conclusions of all the event gacha tickets um, usage and all that stuff. What do you guys think of Dana's generosity? Is it just um, you know kindness for the worst that's about to come? 
you know, um, let me know your thoughts as usual about Min Mei's new powerful episode plate. <laughs> Dang, I wish I really had a copy of it. Uh, but you know, in the future, it might come. In the future, maybe when Min Mei's birthday comes around the corner, we can we can vote for it. You know, as the top wanted costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone, let's do our part to get an awesome episode played in the future. If you guys get one for yourself, let me know in the comments down below. And as usual, guys, before you leave, do the awesome stuff. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next Utah Macross Gacha video. Bye!